Ann from What's Up Homestead. And I'm finally getting in some cucumbers from my garden. So I thought I would show you how we make um, this, this cucumber salad. And it is our very favorite. And I got the recipe off of food.com and it's called Twisted Sister Salad. I don't know why it's called that, but it is so good. I'm departing from the recipe a little bit. Sometimes I peel my cucumbers and sometimes I don't. This time I didn't peel them. And I I wish I could use my onions from the garden. I have a ton of them in the garage. But I've got some i got to use up. So I'm kind of going by the recipe a little differently. And I'm kind of doubling certain things. So I'll, sh I'll link the recipe down below, but this is the way I'm going to make it. It calls for two medium cucumbers, and it calls for one red onion. I just used a regular yellow onion, and I used two of them. It calls for two tomatoes. I've only got one tomato, and it's unfortunately not homegrown, but it says to take the seeds out of them. So I'm taking the seeds out of them. They're not my favorite, but I'm going to add them anyway and see if they make a difference in the recipe. Usually I leave them out, but I'm going to this, put them in this time. Kind of follow the recipe like it says. It calls for a half of a green pepper. I'm putting in a whole green pepper because it gives it a lot of flavor. And it calls for a half a cup of mayonnaise. I'm going to put a half a cup of mayonnaise in there and follow the recipe for that. It calls for two tablespoons of white vinegar. I am going to use rice vinegar because I think it's got a more mellow flavor. It calls for four tablespoons of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of dried parsley flakes. I've never used that because it, I don't think it makes a difference. Um, it calls for one teaspoon of dry dill. I don't like dill in this. I'm not going to put it in there, but you can. And one teaspoon of seasoning salt. So I'm going to get a teaspoon of seasoning salt and put it in there. And it says four tablespoons of sugar. I've got my little sugar bowl. hard using it with one hand but I don't want to set my tripod on there so I'm just going to do four of these and it kind of looks a little not white but it's just organic sugar and it's just got a, like a little brown tint to it so it's four tablespoons of that okay two tablespoons of vinegar the green peppers, the tomato, and I'm going to add the mayonnaise. And you can always add more or less of something and leave out something just like I left out the, the dill. Because I just don't like dill in this. I like it in pickles, refrigerator pickles. It's really good, but it's just not my favorite in this salad. And it looks like it's dry. It's very dry right now. But you'll be amazed when you put this in the refrigerator. It will pretty much form a sauce. And so that's why I did not double the sauce part. I just doubled the vegetables because especially the onions. The onions are so good. They're just as good as the cucumbers in this, in this dish. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. The, the recipe says put it in the refrigerator for two hours. And then stir it again and I will show you what that looks like in a couple of hours and you'll be amazed at what it looks like 
Okay, it's been like three hours, and you can see that it has a lot. It's soupy. So that's all that you need to do for this Twisted Sister salad. I hope you like it.